I want to walk you through Berries, my formats, personalized format feature that they offer inside of Berries. It's amazing. The personalized format feature allows you to tailor your notes exactly to your preferences. So this is a great way to be able to format it exactly how you want it. You can use a sample note as a template, and then Berries will create future notes based on your example. So you can modify quotes, you can modify client names, paragraphs, bullet points, and then add and remove sections to make it the perfect note for you. I want to walk you through this feature and how it works. When you first come into Berries, you can select the format and the type of note that you want to have over here before you even start your session. And I'm just going to choose their default progress note option, which is follow-up therapy. This is where it starts out for you if you're brand new to Berries. So you're going to come in here and you're going to have a session. My client's feeling super anxious around having to go on her first date next week with a new potential partner. And we're going to save the note. It's remembering the note right over here. And in less than a minute, it's ready. So this note has now been created for us. Now we're going to customize this note within Berries. We're going to edit every single part until it meets my exact standards of how I want the note to look. So for these purposes, I'm just going to change chief complaint to presenting problem. I'm going to, instead of problems discussed, I'm going to put overall concerns. You can add new sections if you'd like to. You can add a time log. Uh, a lot of insurance companies want you to document your time. So you can say time of session, we're in 3 p.m. to o'clock p.m. You can customize that. And let's say you think that this is too wordy, overall concerns. Let's say this is more of a story type narrative and you don't like that. Let's say you prefer it to be bullet points. So we could edit this and then let's say we want to keep the quote. Quotes are important, definitely for medical necessity. And let's say you just don't you don't think we need all this. We don't want the insurance company to know all this. So we could just have it just do three bullet points and a quote like this. It's important to note that this is a one-time setup. So once you save this, you've got this forever. This format is going to be saved. You can use it every single time for your notes if you want to. Once we have it exactly how we want it, you're going to come over here. We're going to save each part to make sure it's exactly how we want it to be saved. Save. So let's say I've got it perfect and exactly how I want it. Now the magic comes in. We're going to click the learn button. It's going to learn our format and we can name the type of note that we've written. You can call it my favorite note. Then you click save style and formatting. It saves the note for you and it's personalized format has been saved up here at the top. So now you can perfect your format one time and it's ready to be repeated and used every single time if you want to. No need to redo the process for the same format over and over again. So we come in here. Let's say we're going to have a new session. I'm going to already pick the format that I want. So my favorite note right here, or I can toggle between other formats if I want to, but this is the one I just created, my favorite note. And I'm going to click start session. Client is coming in to talk about depression she's experiencing, discussing boundaries and trying to find respite care and ways to get external resources to help her so she could focus on her own life and not feel so isolated and depressed. But end the session and we're going to call this Rebecca Johnson and we're going to click on her, add her as a new client and we're going to save this and note we saved it under my favorite note format. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just double check this to make sure it took my format. And this is for a totally different client. And every single time you have a client in, you can choose the note format that you want to use. Now we've got Kelly and we had her note and let's go back over here. Now let's say with this note with Kelly, we were like, oh my gosh, I actually didn't want to use my format on that note. I actually wanted to use Barry's follow-up therapy note instead of my personalized note. So you can easily come over here. You can click follow up therapy. You can change the note format. Are you sure you want to change the note format? This will overwrite your current note change. So now it's rewriting the note based on the other format that Barry's already had in there, their default format, which is amazing. So format has changed, just been updated back to Barry's original format. And you can continue to do that for different types of formats that you want to use. Let's say you also see couples. You can do a couple's note format or you see children. You could do a children's note format. So we get through the same process. We'd start the session. So now we're seeing a child. Timmy is here. We use dominoes. 
and talked about how hard it was to get things coordinated the correct way. When he knows it should go that way, it's hard for him to stay focused and organized. So we're going to end the session. We're going to call this Timmy Smith, and we're going to say new patient. And now we've got Timmy's notes saved, but let's say we want this to be a play, play therapy format instead. You would go through the same process with this. Now we have Timmy's session. Let's say we want to do a play therapy template for this. So we'd come in here and say for our play therapy client, we always want to talk about the specific things in the play therapy note that maybe we wouldn't talk about in a session with a regular adult client. Let's say with play therapy, we like to talk about different themes or modalities that we use with just recurring patterns in the child's play. So you can make up something here. Tends to get frustrated when losing at games we are playing. So now we've altered it and we could continue to go through and customize this, but this is now going to be our play therapy note. So I've got it exactly how I wanted. I just had this session with Timmy and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click learn again. And this format is going to be our play therapy format. Same style and formatting. Now we have this in here and we're going to wait for it to write this note. Personalized format has been saved. It's all in there. So now we come up here, we're going to go to new session again. And this time I know I've got a session coming up with Timmy and I know it's going to be the play therapy format. So I'm going to select that one instead. I'm going to start session. And Timmy's back today talking about how he tried to play a game with his brothers and got really frustrated because they were winning and he just didn't know what to do. We're going to name this Timmy Smith again. He's already been saved because we saved him before. Timmy Smith. He's in there now and it's going to write the note for us. And we're going to go see how the play therapy format saved. And you can do this over and over again with couples, with EMDR, with different types of modalities that you use for different types of therapy sessions. So now we have Timmy's note. Let's go back in here and check. And it, it did changes. So it changed client's behavior and responses. Child interacted in a playful and curious manner with the toys. Tends to get frustrated with losing. So it corrected all that. It did themes. It talked about playing dominoes. Dominoes to address this frustration and cooperative play. So all of that's in here now, including the changes that we made. So you can do this over and over again for different types of clientele that you serve, different types of formats that you want, but they're all saved for you under my formats. And you can always come in here and still make changes. So you could just come in here and add, add more to this note if you wanted to. You could come in, edit this, make it into bullet point, and then come up here and you could save any changes by clicking save. Barry's will learn your style of formatting. This format will be accessible on the new session page for all future notes. So you hit save. And there we have it. It's saved and updated that. So now we have all our personalized formats over here. There you have it. This is Barry's personalization feature. You can use my formats to create your notes and have them written any way you want them to be written. Reach out if you have any questions or reach out to Barry's and they'll walk you right through the process.